What's up everybody? My name is Jesse Morrison with Not A Hooks. Today we're doing a nice drift on the river here in Washington. Uh, we're going after steelhead and possibly a spring chinook run up the system. It's going to be a grind today. We don't know what's ahead. It's opening day on this river. It could be down trees, school buses. We don't know what's on the river, but we're going to go through it and, and uh, hope we pick some fish out of here. We got three boats with us today, so we'll be able to do some uh, pretty productive plug fishing as long as we all back row the same it's gonna be a shit show <laughs> <laughs> Beauty though. Get it, 
break? Did it break? Oh shit. You're dragging anchor too. So we zip past you guys. <laughs> We're rolling. It's like wall. So uh, what do you think about that whole uh, deal? It was a harrowing experience. <laughs> Two guys in front of us. We're coming in sideways at them. I don't know what to do. Or is out of the lock. Just Mark Twain that bitch. <laughs> Still alive. So, so yeah. What, what, tell us what exactly what happened there, John. Well, I think there was just a couple guys in there hogging a hole, and uh, we had to come in, and anchor let loose, and things got a lot. How'd the anchor let loose? Uh, it's some, I think the biggest steelhead in the world came up and just picked it up and moved it for us. Now, you're, you lost an oar? Or what yeah, it came out of the oar lock, and it was just panic city. <laughs> there were trees, there were boulder walls. You had your anchor down, you were like, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> my you're official recommendation for Prolox, <laughs> Dan, if you're seeing this, yeah, sucks. But anyway, <laughs> put that on there so you can see it. And that's one thing that, you know, I was told it's guaranteed those will not pop out of there. Fuck that. And I just went, okay, <laughs> well, we found out action. today. They pop out. They pop out. <laughs> So we're half, well not even half, we're like a, maybe an eighth of the way down. And uh, it's been a good drift so far. Uh, my boat has, I think, three or four fish that we caught, all cutthroat. Um, this river quality is, it's beautiful out here. I mean, this is like perfect day. It's overcast, uh, you can see pretty good. It's got a little muddiness to it. It's nice green color. Um, it's a great day for fishing. So we just get started. Let's see, what, let's see what other stuff we can get into on the way down. <laughs> Sorry, Cliff. We're getting this. <laughs> Claymation one. <laughs> hey, we didn't break any rods in that. Yeah, we did chain. not one. And we did not, we did not lose any fish in the net either. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, sorry, dude. Did I fuck you all up? Hey, babe. No, we're good. Oh, okay. I just got a jig on. Uh, I didn't realize that. My bad. You guys size about this big. You're looking down river. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, right. Have it over in the boat. <laughs> He's holding the oar and it's like in two pieces. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> during that scene. <laughs> so what was the bets on us going over? <laughs> Happened too soon, we couldn't make any bets. Yeah. <laughs> too fast. All right, bobber dogging. Uh, I have a bobber stop, it's up the line, you can't see it right now, but it's probably 12 feet up the line from uh, the hole we're fishing now. Uh, we have our bobber stop bead. I just have another backer for the actual float itself. And then another bead, your three-way swivel with the, I just put a little drop weight on there. And then your leader, and I'm, right now I'm running a 20 millimeter bead. Earlier I was running a three inch worm. Um, yeah, just basic bobber dog setup. Oh, and a reel and line weight. 
Oh, Rod is just a medium light, nine and a half foot, uh, just an Akuma guy select pro, and then Luger reel. Basic setup, 30 pound braid, slam. Okay, today we're plugging with Hot Shots, uh, size 30s, custom painted. Uh, this one here, we're using a Fruit Loop. We've got two hits on it today, but nobody's wanted it stick yet. Um, using classic glass rods, Lamy glass, and Lamy glass battle glass. Uh, running 50 pound braid straight to the plug. A uh, little bit of shrimp scent, and it seems to be doing the trick. All right, I'm rocking, uh, this company's called Dust Stick. Uh, they're out of uh, Enumclaw, Washington. Uh, pretty sweet company. Uh, they let me uh, test this rod out. I may be able to keep it after this for the demo. I'm running about an 800 pound braid uh, test on this guy. Um, it, it, it pulls a man. Um, this thing doesn't have too much of a backbone, but uh, you can just, just see that. You can just hand pull the fish in, and I usually put about a uh, I don't know. I think it's a 50 yacht hook on here. Um, it, it gets pretty good. So I bend it off to the side. Make sure you bend your hooks to the side. It just pins them in the corner of their mouth. So, uh, yeah. You see them? Uh, check them out. That stick.
<laughs> Somebody's got to get him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Almost! <laughs> Fish is a fish though, right? Yeah. Oh, he's not that bad. Very oh. Beautiful. The spots on them are nice. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Perfect.
It's a hatchery. It's a hatchery fish. That's snipped. You want to keep him? Yeah, sure. Beauty. Yeah, that's a hatchery rainbow. Scary areas, I'll tell you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many fish what did you I catch, babe? That's a new. <laughs> That's painful. Not a lot of fish. <laughs> Get the camera on my face. Get the camera on my face. <laughs> That was, that was crazy, everybody. Uh, we lost count of how many uh, cutthroat and rainbows we got. We had, or my boat had two big steelhead on, but it was probably all three seconds before they got off. Uh, the takedowns were epic though. Uh, There's nothing better than a uh, plug takedown. But it's 14 hour grind. We, we had to like, push our boats over trees, logs, and then go over dry ground, like 100 yards or more. So it was it was a grind today, to say the least, but it was nonstop catching fish, um, and uh, it was an awesome day. I hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the water.